Transparent objects are common in homes, restaurants, retail packaging, labs, gift shops, hospitals, and industrial warehouses. Humans can easily detect, localize, and infer the geometry of such objects. In contrast, this is how a robot, using a depth camera, would perceive this scene. The objects are almost completely invisible. Existing depth cameras assume that surfaces of observed objects reflect light uniformly in all directions, but this assumption does not hold for transparent objects due to reflection and refraction. The RealSense cameras, for example, output partial and noisy depth data around the transparent objects, and the Foxy camera perceives the table through the object and cannot compute any depth values near the object's boundaries, labeled in black pixels. Data-driven approaches have been shown to improve the quality of depth from RGBD cameras. However, these methods rely on large annotated datasets that are hard to curate and do not generalize well to objects out of the training distribution. NERF, however, can represent non-Lombrician effects such as specularities and reflections while reconstructing the geometry of the scene and does not require annotated datasets. The function f, parameterized by weights theta, maps a spatial location and view direction to the volume density and view-dependent emitted radiance at that spatial location. The density sigma acts like a differentiable opacity and can be used for depth rendering. Vanilla NERF renders depth by converting sigma to an occupancy probability alpha and computing a weighted average over sample distances along a ray. When applied on transparent objects, however, this results in noisy depth maps with missing depth values. In contrast, DexNERF uses a transparency-aware method that searches the first sample along the array for which sigma is greater than a threshold. DexNERF recovers almost all of the depth of transparent surfaces. To grasp transparent objects, DexNERF trains a NERF model for the specific scene renders a transparency-aware depth image from a top-down view, and passes it on to a DexNet grasp planner that computes a top-down parallel jaw grasp. As opposed to vanilla NERF depth maps, DexNERF renders depth maps that can be used for grasp planning. To test DexNERF in a physical setup, we place transparent simulated objects in front of an ABB Yumi robot. Although the Foxy camera cannot compute the depth values near the wine glass, DexNERF can render depth that is sufficient for grass planning. DexNERF gets 90% and 100% success rates for all objects, while the baselines get few successful grasps, if any. We also test DexNERF on a cluttered scene. In future work, we hope to address one of the main drawbacks of NERF, the long training time required to obtain a NERF model, by exploiting features specific to robot scenarios including using depth camera data as a prior and visio-spatial foresight to adapt to changes in the environment.